This 737 cargo plane was struck by lightning 500 miles south of Anchorage. Every hour this plane is down costs the company thousands of dollars. I got these two. Technician Tom Cook is assessing the extent of the damage. It's critical to find that point where the lightning entered and exited and all of the areas that it's affected in between. If one of the areas is left unchecked, it can cause a crack in the area, and the crack can cause that section to blow out if it was under pressure in flight. That could cause the airplane to have to do an air turn back or worse, maybe even a crash. Just one bolt of lightning can carry a billion volts of electricity. On average, a commercial jet is struck by lightning once every year. A conductive metal mesh built into the skin of the aircraft keeps passengers safe. It guides the powerful electric charge around the fuselage of the aircraft and then out, typically through the nose, tail, or wingtips. But all that electricity and heat can still cause dangerous damage. The aircraft are designed to have the electricity flow around the exterior of the airplane, and they have static discharging wicks that are on the trailing edges of the surfaces to dissipate electricity in an event of a lightning strike. Tom has discovered extensive damage on the tip of this plane's wing. Right here, we have the left and right winglets that were removed from the aircraft. You can see the damage where the wing, the tip of it itself has been blown off from the force of the lightning exiting. Here at the strobe light itself, it blew the glass out and caused multiple damage, burn spots on the skin. There was a lot of heat that was in this area. The wingtips will need to be completely replaced. But that's not all. The lightning bolt, five times hotter than the surface of the sun, has caused scattered damage throughout the fuselage. Technicians Ryan Wilson and Jim Williams have to find and fix it. We have to fix the damage that's been done and put it back together. Holiday season is on us right now, and so the pressure's on to get this freighter back up and flying again so that we can get our packages delivered. It's painstaking technical work that can only be done by eye. Oh, yeah, my magnifying glass. The superheat of a lightning strike can also burn the skin of an aircraft. So you can kind of see on these fasteners, it's bubbled up around here, kind of burnt, it's rough. That's from the skin getting hot and melting around the existing fasteners. So we got to take the damaged fasteners out, remove the damage from the skin, and plug the holes up. There will be hours of precision work to fix the plane, and the team is under pressure. Every minute, every second, every hour, this thing's on the ground and not flying. We're not moving passengers or cargo around, and that costs quite a bit of money. Tom is replacing the plane's winglets, which were damaged by the electric charge of the lightning bolt as it exited the plane. Originally developed by NASA, these eight-foot winglets are designed to improve aerodynamics around the wings. There's always a level of danger when moving large bits of aircraft around. That's good. Mind steadying this as it comes in. Tom has to be precise. Each winglet costs $725,000. If the winglet were to hit the wing tip of the aircraft, it would cause damage to the winglet and would require replacement of the winglet again. You got the winglet? All right. Come down a little bit, Pat. How's the alignment look up? Not a whole off, am I? Yeah, it looks good. All right. There are 18 bolts that hold the winglet itself onto the aircraft. We double and triple check all of the components as we're doing it. Every once in a while, going to sleep at night after working a long day, you have the feeling of second-guessing yourself in your mind of, did I install this? Did that get installed correctly? In aviation, there's no second chances. They've repaired two winglets and identified and repaired over 30 areas of damage caused by the lightning in under seven hours. With the job being complete, it's almost time to clock out and go home and see my family. The 737 cargo jet is cleared to take to the skies again. Yeah.